This is a 2001 Nissan Pathfinder with the IAC problem. And I just wanted to quickly show you how you can check your circuit to see if there's anything wrong after you replace the IAC and it's still not working. So I have my multimeter set up with a probe to ground. And then back here on the IAC plug, we have our harness back probed. You can see you just stick a thin wire in the back in there. Then you'll plug it back in. And if it's working properly, your multimeter should fluctuate from zero to around 12, 13 volts. And if it holds on zero, then you know one of those wires have a problem. The wires you're gonna check are the outside ones, the middle ones of the ground. So far I've found that my number three here has zero voltage and we're on number six right now and we're gonna check that. So just to double check, I have number six, the bottom right back probe there. We'll plug that back in. And we'll grab our little hook guy here. All right, I think we've got our hook down. And then we're going to cycle the key on. Don't start it, just cycle the key on. And we'll check that voltage there. So that one's okay. We're gonna hook up number three again and see to verify that it doesn't have a voltage. Okay, so we're back probed in, back again to number three on my diagram here. I'll cycle the key on without starting again and see what the voltage does. So it looks like it might be working now. Maybe the first time I did it. But the voltage is holding high. It is supposed to fluctuate. So we're going to look more into that. But this would be the way to check each wire in the circuit. There is a short to the computer for the IAC. First thing that I did was come to the IAC plug back here. It's a blue plug with six wires. I took a little piece of wire and back probed it, plugged it into the back of each of the wires and then cycled the key on without turning it on, just cycling it on. Hook this probe up to it with negative over to ground and your voltmeter should cycle between 0 and 12 showing you that it's cycling on and off. That's what it's supposed to do. You do that to the outside four wires the two in the middle are the power supply. These four are supposed to cycle from zero to 12. And one of my wires stays at 12 volts, which tells me that it's a short to ground. But you need to know if it's short to, in the, in the wire, short to the chassis, or if it's a short to the computer. And the way to check that is to disconnect the computer. So right now my computer is disconnected. I've got... My test light hooked up to the positive. And I'm going to stick the probe. So I have number three on my little diagram. That's the top right one here. So I'll turn it around. Now we're on the top left. So we'll stick it in here. And the test light's not turning on. I had a little bit showing up here. But the main one, the, the, thing, the test light was beeping and the light would come on solid on that one. So I'll plug, I'll disconnect the battery. I'll plug the computer back in. And this test light should turn on where it should not at all. So I'll show you real quick 
how to get to the computer is super easy. You don't have to take apart the dash or anything. Even to take the computer out, you don't technically have to take anything apart. Um, to give you more access, you would pull this Phillips screw out right here. That just lets you pull this down a little bit. But just to unplug the computer, you don't have to do that. So my battery is unplugged right now. Positive, negative, or not connected. And we're going to plug it back in. So you just come under here. The computer is right here. And your plug's on the bottom here. So one thing that does get in the way is this. This little plastic bit here goes into that hole and that'll keep you from pulling the plug out. So you gotta pop that out with a pair of pliers first. So we'll get the computer plugged in again. So we've got the computer plugged in again, but we gotta put this latch down. So there's a, on both sides, when you unplug it and plug it back in, you can see it right there. Right here, there's a little plastic tab that locks the cam camming locking piece on either side. So when you unplug it and put it back in, you have to press that white piece down to let the black piece swing over. So I press the white bit down. Now this will swing over. And it'll click underneath the other side. And then we'll put plug up the... Uh, We'll put the car battery back in. All right, so the battery's hooked up again. We'll go back to the test light with test light on positive. And then just to verify that we're hooked up. All right, so we'll go back and check this one again. And the test light should turn on now, now that we have this plugged back in. So here were the see that so top right from the back was my number three so that's so we'll touch our top left which is our number three and the test light will come on because we're hooked up to the computer again so it's not making them beep but I'll show you here that the, the lights on unplug it put it back in light comes on and just so you can see we do a different one that's not shorted. The light does not come on. And the, the light is not supposed to come on on the outside ones. These are signal wires. And those should only receive power when the car is on. And they, they should be cycling power when the key is on. So I have already pulled out my computer. And I've looked at the chip that usually f gets fried when this it goes bad, but it didn't look fried to me. Everything looked pretty clean. Um, but we have a short anyway, so I'm gonna open it back up, change the chip out, and we'll see if that fixes the problem. I found all this information from Scanner Danner. He has a perfect video on all this that will break down exactly what to look at and what it all means. This is just my particular problem. The other, the other way this would go down is one of these wires would have zero voltage rather than mine having steady 12 volts or 12 whatever. Um, so check that video out. I'll put it in the description so you can watch it yourself. Uh, this is just my result from watching his video. Thanks.